Welcome to RamblinRec.com. This is sophomore redshirt Jamia Thomas. Jamia, right? Jamia. How bad has your first name been hammered by people? <laughs> What's the worst it's been butchered? Well, most say that it's a female name, so I hear that a lot. Like, you got a girl name and all that, so it's about the worst it gets. Really? Yeah. Um, what's gotten into you this year? Well, I mean, you're hammering people. Big hits. Little guy. Big package. What's going on? Just try to go down and make a play, like, on special teams and all, because, like, that's what I do majority, like, special teams. So I don't try to depend on nobody else to make the tackle. I just try to go and make it. But you've always been that kind of player out here. Yeah. I've uh, always been wanting to be physical. Yeah? Why is that? It's just something about me, something part of me. But you're a little guy. You're not supposed to be like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that part of it? That's what most say, but I just take the risk. Just go ahead and go. You came here from Fitzgerald. Coach Pruitt. Mm -hmm. How big is Fitzgerald? Big <laughs> as this room? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> it's bigger than this room. A little bigger? Yeah, it's small, though. It's very small. But it was a good place to start. Yeah, it was a good place to start. So what do we need to know about Fitzgerald? Well, Fitzgerald is like... We have a lot of athletes there that get overlooked, I guess. Uh-huh. But Fitzgerald, they got good players. Playing high school. As football. Playing football is a big yeah. deal. Because mm -hmm. everybody goes, right? Yeah. That must make now playing on this stage kind of neat, knowing that you played in a town where everybody in the town knows you're playing when the games are on TV. Yeah, huh? it's small, so everybody knows. Everybody knows who you are and all that, so. But then when you come from Fitzgerald to Atlanta, <laughs> is it a pretty big change? It's a big change, yeah, <laughs> big change. <laughs> How big a change is it? It's a very big change. Like Fitzgerald, weekends and all, you don't have nothing to do and all that. But when you get to Atlanta, you got plenty to do. So it's a very big change. Is it too big sometimes? Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> um, you redshirted last year. Yeah. What would you learn about the game? Well, Because I hear redshirt years can be – kind of learning years. You learn how to watch tape. You learn how to get ready. You, if you're involved in scout team, you're, you're finding another way to see the game you, when you're not playing in the games. Yeah, when I read sure that it's like I didn't take no break off, though. Like, on scout team, I was giving them my all. Like, I wasn't going to take no break off. I was trying to make my team better. So, I really didn't take no break other than that. I just went in there, watched film, learned the defense and all that. So, it helped me out. What's the biggest thing you learned during the red shirt year? Well, basically, like how you said, watching film and, like, understanding the defense, really. Mm. Um, I've been told that you're something else in the weight room. Yeah. I've been told that you'll just pop on in the weight room, lay down on the bench, and put 300 up. <laughs> well, like, coming from Fisher, like, we had one, like, steak and weightlifting a couple times in a row. So, I had came in already benching, like, 315. So... And how big are you? What? 195. Five. Okay. So guys really don't understand how strong you are yeah. until they get on the field with you, do they? Yeah. Because they think you're this little, <laughs> little guy, guy just out there playing. Mm-hmm. That and that's, that's the way you like your game to be, I get. Yeah. So what's the secret then to, to making the big play? Because you've had a bunch of them. Just go for it. Like, don't hold nothing back. Like... That's all I do. When you watch yourself on tape, what do you learn? Well, I learned that I could do something better or like I took the wrong angle or something like that. That's what I focus on or like my assignment towards what I did. So. Yeah. It's been a tough couple of weeks for you guys. What's been the hardest part? Well, the hardest part is taking the loss, though, because like we hungry. Like we don't want to. We, kept, we told ourselves that we can be different this year, so that's about it. Like, taking a loss is hard, so. It's not for lack of effort. No. It's not for lack of want, is it? No, that's not it. If, if that's the hardest part, Jamea, then what's, what's this week going to be like to get ready to play a team that is undefeated, in the nation's top five, and has a lot of momentum about it? We all got to just come together, be on the same page, like, like you say, it wasn't a lack of effort or stuff like that. We just got to be, we just got to go out and give it our all together on one page. You like the idea of playing Saturday night? Yeah. 
running out behind the car. Is that a big deal? I mean, it's not a big deal because like I'm ready to play every Saturday. So, but but playing at night is all right. It's, it's all right to me. Kind of like being back home. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the time. All right. That's Jamia Thomas. And this is RamblinWreck.com. <laughs> <laughs>